Hey YouTube, what's up man? It feels like it's been forever. Here is my review of Power Core Combiner Mud Slinger with his Destructicon set. Now before we begin, I guess you might want to be wondering where I've been. Well, we took a real nice family vacation. Me, my mom, my two little sisters, and my fiance. We took a trip to Sweden and we went to Rome. We basically went to a few places in Europe, which was really fun. But while I was still away, I was still trying to get new toys. So by the time I got back, I still had a whole bunch of packages I had to pick up. So it was just fun. Anyway, let's start with these guys. Here is my third actual combiner set. The first ones are actually in stores right now, so you could pick them up. Bomb Shock, which I reviewed. And the Aerial Bot set. But enough of that. Let's look at this guy. Mudslinger is the main body and he these are his Destructicons. Before we even look at Mudslinger, let's look at the Destructicon drones. I actually love the way these look. Because this one has like more of a rally racer car. But then you have weapons at the very top and the bottom. This one forms one of the arms. And we got this like super turbo kind of SUV looking. It looks pretty normal. Not a lot of weaponry. Only thing you do have is these rockets that must push it into super Mach, Mach 7 speed not that's not accurate I'm just saying and here we have like a fire truck type thing but it does have missiles on the back so like I said it's also very destructive and then we have the leg which has this very cool claw in the front so you can see it does some damage so the Destructicons is actually a good name for these drones and now the main body Mud Slinger Anyways, now that I get the chance, I want to say sorry because I'm really embarrassed about the Power Cork Smolder review. I could have swore when I first read it, his name was Chopstick. It wasn't until later, later that I found out that it was Chopster. And I feel like a moron, but you know, some I've been a little out of the loop recently, so I want to make a public apology even though I wrote it in the description. You know, it's better to hear it from me. Anyways, here we have him. He's like a big, like, monster truck type thing with big wheels. Take a look at the bottom. You see the combining points. This is obviously for the legs. These are the arm combining points. And you can actually see the hands of the individual robot mode with the wheels. It's pretty sweet. The head pops up from here. A quick preview because we're going to look at it better. And let's do some comparisons with the other power core combiners. I mean, the less, I'm only going to use the actual combiner set ones. So that means for Bomb Shock and Skyquake from the Aerial Bot Sweat. You can see these guys are basically the same scale. Like I mentioned before, the power core combiners are basically scout size. None of them are really as big as the Deluxe. They fit right into like a scout class even though they're in their own class check it out I did a review on bomb shock in this combaticons also a while ago probably my last review I did like a few months ago and here here is um guy quick anyways enough of that let's actually get to mudslinger the way let's get one last look at him before we advance look here is his um combined head which I think looks amazing check it out it's pretty badass it looks really cool all right and now let's go to the transformation before we want to do anything we want to move the hands out of the way we should just push these out of the way for now now the hands are stuck into place with pegs that go right here so you want to at least pull this little panel out and pull them out as you can see the peg in the slot same thing here and it also the arms are stuck together through this peg so we want to like just bring it all the way up we might as well just check push that up just like that okay and now we want to bring the arms down so just bring it down turn the arm 180 same deal here bring it down turn it down 180 and you spin it around like that just like that all right now the legs sorry the camera got a little um shaken up so i had to do a cut 
Anyway, so here we see his arms. Just like that. So the upper body basically is done. Now let's get back to the legs. The legs we want to do is just maneuver them out like this. I gotta be careful because when I first got it, when I was learning to transform him, I kind of like took a little tear. So with Crazy Glue, I fixed it perfectly. But it just needs a little bit, a little bit more delicacy. It needs to be dealt with more delicately. All right. So like that, you just leave the feet just like that and just flatten the bottom parts, which are like the the truck cabin parts so you can see the windows and now we want to drag this whole piece out as you can probably tell by now you want to put this peg into this slot so slide it in and that and there we have the legs and now all we got to do is pop up the head and here let's take a better look at the head it actually looks pretty cool these power core combiner heads are like really sick especially the Decepticons that looks awesome that looks kind of badass all right, let me get some focus, and there he is. Zoom in on the body. He's pretty cool looking, I think. Mudslinger, just turn him around. You can see the combining points here. Also, before I even advance, I want to tell you that I could be wrong in some aspects of the combination, but I'm going from this picture I saw. I'm pretty sure I got most of it right. It's just there's some parts, I think these parts in the combined form, I'm a little confused on. Well, I'll show you right now. But for right now, let me transform the other combiners so you can get comparison. So here you see him with Bomb Shock and Skyquake. The three combining set main bodies. Unfortunately, I haven't still got my hand on the Rallybot set, which I'm hoping I'm going to get able to get my hand on soon. But for now, let me just continue. You can see they're basically almost identical in size. They're pretty cool. Like I mentioned before, the power core combining line looks to be really good. You get to have all the, the pretty things about combiners at an affordable price, which makes this line so promising. And the interchangeability of it is amazing. So you can do so many combinations, so many, you know, ideas and stuff. It's really cool. All right, guys, let's just take a posability for Mudslinger. Okay, the, these can actually turn, but I prefer to keep it like that for the transformation. But you can see he has movable elbows. His waist has no movement, unfortunately. He has, he has 360 leg movement. I think he even has some knee movement. But this is all part of the um, the combined form part. So, you can check it out. And the head is 360, of course. And like, that's all you need to know for the mudslinger himself. Alright, now let's actually go to the combined form. Let's start by just simply pressing this down. You want to turn the, the arms 180. Just like that, and you want to push this up. You can leave it like that for now. Just like that. No, matter of fact, let's just start by pulling this down and pushing it in here. That's how it was when he was in vehicle mode. That's how he stays in the combined form. So, do the same thing here. If you just push the head back for now. You want to turn it 180. Bring it upwards, just like that. Then we can leave the arm over here for now. And now the head is just like that. Now these are the parts that connect his arm. I like most people keep it straight like that. I like to keep it as high as possible and bend it just like that. I think it gives it like a like a better look. All right, the legs are like a little stu like crazy. That's where I uh, kind of broke my other one. So you want to start by simply is put. Look, let me show you the other side. You can see a whole bunch of like legs, joints, and stuff. You want to start by just pushing this straight out like that just like that once you have that you can easily slide this upwards all right and now there's a this peg needs to be brought down one second it needs to be slid down not all the way but you can might as well start all the way so you see this part just slid down the foot has to stay as flat as ever now there's this little clip here that is gonna clip to the inside part right here so 
see if when you just do it like that it won't fit it misses the margin so this is where it gets a little tricky you just gotta push it out gently and then it should be able to fully just snap in just like that you didn't hear the snap but it's in because you can see it's dirty so we do the same deal here do that and you pull all the way out now we gotta turn this peg that's on the inside you want to slide it down just like that you can start like I said pushing it all the way down like that straight so it don't go no more and then you can just maneuver it little by little to go into the same slot all right, if you get it right you're supposed to get a here, here click there you go I'm not sure you heard it but it's in so now we have the legs down and here's where I get a little mistaken see you can either keep these wheels out like that I like to put the hands like this from pictures I saw or you can just push it in so it doesn't have as much movement and it's sturdy I personally like to push it in so it's not sturdy and it also the angle it's at it gives the wheels like a more angulated look like if they're facing you know at an angle which I think is sweet and yo know, that's about it guys okay and the review <laughs> no that's not that's it now we just got to combine the components let's get a last look at the actual body and the head he looks like a minotaur with these pieces and I like it a lot anyway, let's take a look at the back again I could be wrong but I'm just going on my best my best hit the way I like to do it I like to have this guy for his right our left so you push it in of course like other powerful combiners it comes out automatically so you see that claw in this piece you want to just push in one second just like that okay now for some reason I'm not sure if this happens to all of the other ones but for me this piece right here it doesn't go in right all the time so you gotta kinda like push it in at an angle and then push push and then it goes in properly just like that see let's give me I'm so good I got it my first try I swear YouTube you just should name me the best reviewer of anything in the world my first try <laughs> sorry a little humor I'm just happy to be reviewing again so beside this leg you actually have to lift this part up because it won't move on its own and you push it in the upper part of the car pops out so now that we do some adjustments we can show you the end result which is the mud slinger in its combined form now you can't front this guy does look pretty cool and badass he is probably my favorite just get a good look at everything look at the arms you want to just bring this down so you can have like a gun almost with the it looks cool and you see here this piece and then the legs let's turn around to get a look backwards look see apparently this one isn't in all the way let me make sure I have it in Apparently, it does stay in, but I've been doing it for so long. Oh, now, now it's not in. That it's starting to wear off. The, the peg that snapped is starting to wear off. So, that's why it doesn't stay all the way. Let's continue taking a look from the back. Like I said, you can choose to push these in outward. But I choose to do it like this. It's a choice. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Because I don't have any... When I got him, I didn't get him with any instruction manuals. He should be out though, you know what I mean? It's been a while since I actually got him. He should be released by now. Let's take a look at the face one more time. And then we're gonna do some comparisons with the other combiner forms. All right guys, so you see him here with the Bruticus set unofficially and with the Aerialbot set unofficially, Superion. So you can take a better look from up here. They're all basically the same size. They're not the biggest combiners ever, but it actually does make um, 
them more affordable and you can have a bride a wider range of even new sets except for the even you know they keep the traditional ones like aerial bots and combat cons but the destructive cons is a brand new set you know what i mean so it's pretty cool all right guys let's um move these guys out of the way and then we can just take one last look at the face and the body then we're gonna dismantle him. I was gonna try to swim back into ro in the robot mode and back to the vehicle, but I'm just gonna go back to vehicle. Okay, we just remove this. Just like that. Like that. And like that. Alright, since we're already in this mode, we don't need to do much. Just push this down like that. We gotta unturn the arms like this. No, first of all, let's just make sure the legs are flattened out because this is like a little aggravating. Also, you got to make sure you, the way you did it, you got to make sure it goes all the way straight again. So you got to make sure it's straight and then it comes down just like that. Okay, so be careful with this one. Straighten it. And then push it all the way up again and then bring this part down okay and there we have it all right we got to keep this piece clipped in just like that keep the legs up just like this flatten the feet all right okay before we can do the legs no wait I'm not too sure if we do the legs first let's just push these together for now turn them so like that they have the pegs that are facing each other stay in place you also want to push the wheels in just like that so they can be all the way in we'll pull these down in a few all right now we simply gotta just drag this piece up and it's gonna click over here just like see just like that and the same thing Mikey. My cat, he's so cute. He's trying to get some attention. So he's jumping all over the place. Alright, and here we go. And that's about done. Now all we gotta do is, is put these pegs back into where they were. Like the holes that are in here. See? It went in like that. And the same thing. Like that. And then you just push these up. And now we do some minor adjustments. Like bring these pieces in just like that and we're done okay let me just straighten out these guys because sometimes they get stuck in their combined form only that one in particular that little fire truck Only that one in particular tends to get stuck all right my final thoughts like I said, the Power Core Combiner line to me is the fresh start for Transformers. Because Combiners have been part of the Transformers franchise ever since the beginning. But the problem with Trans Combiners is that they're so expensive. Hasbro finally decided, you know, let's get people the feel of movie Combiners at an affordable rate. And this is what they're doing. They're creating, in, like, compatibility on a mass scale. It's, it's also in a re individual releases like smolder being released with mini cons that could power up and their own combined form which is pretty awesome so i like this toy my favorite so far okay and that's about it i got a ton of new toys i got the new blur and i also got uh tiara die from the generation design and i got i got lead foot pcc lead foot and ice pick you know a few other stuff like the Sons of Cybertron set so you will see all these reviews up immediately thank you so much for being there for me I've been I've been trying to keep up on the keep up on the emails but now that I'm fully back I can I can answer everything and my contest is still on remember a brand new what is it legends devastator is on the line again the details have not have been postponed for a while but now they will so if you still don't have one try to join my contest you never know all right guys maybe i'll do a second and third and first place prize like last time i hope you enjoyed this review 
because it's been my first one in a while and there will be many to come. Thank you very much YouTube and have a great day and again thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.